Have, we have moldy burgers, frozen sandwiches, and even expired milk. Dozens of parents say the food that Woodbridge schools are feeding their kids is not even fit for animals. New Salt, New Jersey's Naomi Yane is live tonight with this story. Naomi, this has to be frustrating for not only the parents, but the kids as well. Very frustrating, uh, Brittany and Kurt. There's even a petition that's going around right now, started by students and their parents. Right now, we're seeing 1,100. We're watching that count. There it goes. 1,140 signatures on this petition so far. Again, started by students and their parents. And students are saying that the food the school system is giving them isn't fit for human consumption. And it's got their parents angry and looking for a new food service provider. Shame on you. You should be eating this, not them. That's the message from Alina Iluterio to Woodbridge Township's Board of Education and Chartwell's K-12 Woodbridge School's current food service provider. How can you do this to these kids? My 15-year-old will come and tell me, Mom, this is wrong. What about a five-year-old, six-year-old? Alina's son Alex is a junior at Woodbridge High School and had to be picked up from school this week after becoming sick when he ate a burger at lunch. Unfortunately for Alex, he didn't notice the burger had gone bad until it was too late. I went back to my class after lunch and I started feeling really sick. So I went down to the nurse and where I did start having the runs. When I got home, I started throwing up and, you know, my stomach was really biting with me and it was just a really bad experience. Rancid or uncooked food isn't only an issue at the high school level, but in the lower grades too. Christy Salzano has two sons in Woodbridge schools, one who attends Woodbridge Middle School and another at Raw Street School. And both her sons have had bad experiences with what's been on the lunch menu. The first day of school, he came home and he said, Mom, I couldn't even eat the sandwich because it was literally frozen solid. It was a turkey and cheese sandwich and it was frozen. This is not the first time Chartwell's K-12 has caused students to stew. In 2014, students at a Connecticut high school boycotted school lunches provided by Chartwell's for similar lunch woes. Here in Woodbridge, students who can afford to bring their own lunch or buy lunch elsewhere have resorted to doing so. But what happens with the kids who can't? It's just not fair. I mean, there are some children that they rely on this meal. You know, their moms and dads maybe can't afford to send them with lunch. We did reach out to Chartwell's K-12, and a spokesperson for the company said, in part, we recognize there have been a few instances where we didn't meet the expectations of all of our students and families and have carefully investigated each situation. There's nothing we take more seriously than the health and safety of our students. What's the hope here? That the food is better prepared and actually taken care of because what they're giving out right now is criminal. Mm. Now, we did reach out to the Board of Education. We got no response, unfortunately. However, the Board of Education will be meeting at the Raw Street School behind me here on Thursday, and parents will be sure to be in the building to be sure that their voices are heard. Brittany? Naomi, thank you. Of course, we will follow up with this next week.